Lagos speaker straight. Don't panic. Go on with your legitimate business. Wazurike says Ndigbo, the founder of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign states of Biafra, Chief Raf Wazurike has employed Igbo tribesmen doing their legitimate business in Lagos State and in any other parts of the country not to panic or feel intimidated by the Lagos Speaker Street to enact law that will only favor the Yorubas. According to Wazurike, the law from all intents and purposes when operational is targeted at Indigo who do who do their business of buying and selling in Lagos. Wazurike who came who made the observation during his monthly meeting at a Ujuku Memorial Library, New Oweri said it was against the non violence and non exodus philosophy of his organization for any Southeasterner to leave his place places to of residence in Nigeria on account of fear of being attacked by either the Yoruba or the Southwest or Awusa Fulani in the north. Chief Wazurike would describe the Lagos State House of Assembly Speaker Mudashiri Obasa's proposal as anti Igbo policy, urge Igbo to remain in Lagos and carry out carry on with their legitimate business of trade without fear of being molested or intimidated by another or by anybody. We are ready to protect Indigo doing their legitimate businesses anywhere in this country if we are pushed to the war, Wazurike warned. He vowed to continue to work for the overall well being of Ndibu wherever they reside, stating that the non violent movements of mass up shouldn't be mistaken as a weakness or for granted. He explained how he worked to regain the freedom from prison of a popular social media influencer and public relationship expert, Blessing Okoro Nkiruka, among others, recently warning that. The group wouldn't allow anybody or group of persons to malign the Igbos who are doing their business or doing their legitimate, doing their legitimate in any part of the country. If you have the money to purchase houses and landed properties with genuine papers for proper documentation, don't hesitate to do, to do so. He reminded politicians from the southeast of Nigeria that everything he told them when he started mass up on September 13, 1999 many years ago is manifesting on a daily basis and they should look inward and turn a new life in their own interest yes now they think uh, you want to come and do nonsense you know they do nonsense and uh, Igbos are doing nonsense you should be ashamed of yourself if you don't want to sell land for them again or if you don't want to fine but not they say they want people don't get it ruby say they know they know tifa for your hand if you want to give your people scholarship or say you don't want to give uh, other this thing, good and fine. You don't have nobody has problem with that. Make the life of your people better. You can con- give them loan, you can give them a uh, mortgage, you can give them mm, you can send them abroad, you can give them scholarship. That is fine. That is fine. Nobody's contesting that. But that uh, you want to pursue people and your people are saying go back home. Ah no, it's not only rock ball. No, only rock ball. No be nobody get monopoly to nonsense. Nobody get monopoly to good things. In as much the people did not acquire, you want to you want to use all, all this ajagumbale, abi or money to come and do what? You are the people who are not doing the right thing. You are the devilish people, and that's why people maybe there is maybe there is maybe we see as they want to dance because still you do one side because these guys are speaking. They are speaking the mind of Tinubu. Because all this kind of nonsense, you cannot be on one hand be talking about the unity of Nigeria and your boys that you have put together has said something different and you keep quiet. Who does that? Is that not a 419 person? The same thing they did during election. Did you condemn them? No, you didn't condemn them. Who does that? Then you come back and begin to point fingers at other people. And you meanwhile, when you cause problem, you look for people trouble. That's how you hear them. Oh, Igbo obedience, they are this, they are, they are abusing people. No, tell me, you don't abuse people. When you say one or two things against them, you expect them to keep quiet. Say who you be now. No, say who you be because people are living there, you are just watching and, and see what is happening. And so that, because you you you, you want to do like, because the way this, uh, all this, uh, whatever, whether Tunibu supporters or whatever, the same thing that uh, these people are doing, or they did. What do they call them? Esme. 
how many of the X-Men did you see that they are raised with all their shenanigans and impunity? That even this man came for them and be supporting them. Gumi, where is Gumi today? Supporting bandit Koro Koro, no be say go come. So we are not surprised. Bwari don't do worse things. No be this Tinubu and his supporters. You want to do evil because you think uh, you now have the power because that is what they is. That's the rave of the moment. They are now the one in power. What are we talking about? What kind of useless, uh, uh, useless mentality is that? What has that got to do? Whether a a a, 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 a Biraman or a Soko man or or a Yoruba man or whosoever becomes president, so what? Is it supposed to be the affair of uh, the Yoruba people? Or you happen to be a, 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 a an Igbo man, you now become president, you now say, oh, every other tribe should go and sleep. That it is your turn, that you can do and undo. Buari has set a bad precedent. You see that Buari don't do and now, Tinubu they do and now. If another person can't do and maybe it will not be a problem. Just like the way they criticize the, the issue of a subsidy removal. But now, it's a, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. What is the difference between a uh, Buhari and Tinubu? Tinubu they carry, they carry thugs. Why Buhari? That one now, 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 now all these uh, terrorists and full and the men and the bandits. Those are the, were the people that they were using to fight against the people. And you expect the Nigeria to be better with all the noise we will make. Tinubu na Mizaya, Abi Buhari na Mizaya. Where Nigeria today now? Is it forgotten? The same set of people brought Buhari in. Now they are there. So tell me the good things that you expect from them. So you think uh, you want to have, if you don't want to sell land going forward, if you don't want to sell land to non indigenous and I'm sure a lot of people don't even get sense now. Well, we have some people who, like, according to the constitution, they will follow it. But hmm, don't just even waste time, waste your time. Don't waste your time. We know what happened in Worry now. In Delta even the United States, they tell us even take worry as another. We know now. Now, so they, they brag, they call it the ve, they do a manner of thing. Ah, anything they will make your life un unbearable. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is the worry today? No, where is the worry today? Where is the worry today? It's nowhere to be found. Where? Two ways. I don't buy. Don't be. Uh, one. Don't buy. Don't build. Second, respect the people that you see. In their land, what kind of useless respect are you talking about? I don't understand. What kind of useless and respect are you talking about? Do you have respect? You are selling your land. Did they force you? Which respect? If anybody has authority, you only have his authority in that small space that you bought. So, which one have respect for what? I don't understand. Do you have respect? Who are you? It's like this, this, uh, this, you know, we're not be Yoruba. Make you know, they say, person make you run. Make you know, they think what you know, they talk. Because I don't know what it may, what makes you think that, uh, people are even saying what things, even people who are, people will tell you that uh, America, they know those who build it, even in UK, they know who build it. So does it mean that uh, they will not begin to tell you that you did not respect them? There's a law, because there's a law that, that guy, that governs everybody. Why we say respect in what way? So if one person tells you that, uh, oh, uh, Gerard, whatever, does that change the policy of the government? Or what? What? They are even helping you to even buy your land in your place. They are helping you to even do all manner of things, business. They are helping your economy. You should be grateful to them. You should be grateful to them in the real sense. Because of your inferiority complaint, that is why you say respect them how? That you are giving them a, a favor, that they are buying your land, they are making your economy to be okay because the state was a was the capital of the country before. So what is the big deal of all this? They respect they will tell you respect the oath. How? Well, most of people have lost interest. Okay, in in what is going on now, we won't invest a cobble anymore in the West. Let them enact the law and let us see if we won't disgrace their lazy asses. Wazurike, we won't buy land anymore in Lagos. Let us see who we lose out. Mind you, war is not rhetoric. We are war veterans too. You don't even need Lagos to be rich or make wealth or success. We move once they move. Mm. 
you want to display your stupidity to the public through your advice when ojuku was called to commission a project executed by Igbo traders as a wise man is he see ground at it you are not serious so you are telling us that a issue you should you should i don't understand i don't i don't understand now they have somebody is making a threat you said they should keep quiet i don't under, i don't understand <sighs> Mm, useless advice. Why not advise them to come back and develop their land? What are you guys talking about? Must everybody stay back in the in the, this thing? Stay back in the, in in their village. What are you talking about? Is that sign of, of progress? Is that sign of progress? I don't understand. That everybody should come back. Is it possible that everybody, all Yoruba people, must stay? As we speak now, a lot of Yoruba are in the southeast. A lot. At least I have been to Benin. I know Benin very, very well. When you talk about Benin, I, I, when you when you, it comes to Benin, I can say something. Well, I'm not talking of the Edo city generally. I'm talking about Benin. There is Lagos streets in Benin. And when you get there, who are the people that you meet there? Even in Asabade, you have a lot of Yoruba people that are selling things. Even go to Port Harcourt. Are you guys normal? Why is it that if Lagos is so... It, it gives wealth according to what you people are saying. Why do you have people of Yoruba extraction living in another places? Hmm? It is not possible that everybody will stay in the past. It's called go job now. Why would you be saying all the people should come back? Come back to do what now? It's a Southeast. I've been asking this question. Is Southeast a desert that a people people are no longer living there? So guys, let's say your let's say your opinion and have your take on this.